Hey, what's going on everybody? Cloak and Daggerish, and we're doing another Entropia video tonight. My last crafting video went pretty well, and I ran out of animal muscle oil, so I think tonight I'm going to go out and do some more hunting and get myself some more muscle oil so I can do another crafting run and maybe not make another one of those videos since you guys seem to enjoy it so much. Um, but instead of watching me go out and shoot curbs again, because that's typically what I go hunting for animal muscle oil, I thought I could do uh, kind of an on-the-fly introductory to like melee weapons a little bit. Um, and I'm going to go hunt some, some smaller stuff so that you can, as probably newer players are going to be more interested in this video, uh, so you can use this a little more practically. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to go over to the trade terminal and we're going to go to weapons. And there's a couple different melee weapons. There's the short blades, uh, which are typically uh, faster action. or You get more uses per minute, uh, but lower damage. There are the long blades, which are higher damage, but uh, a little bit slower to use. And then there's the knuckles, which is kind of an in-between. Uh, they can be really fast. They can be a little bit slower uh, than the knives and the swords, kind of depending on what you get. Knuckles is kind of a hard one to get into because after the TT one, you don't have a lot of options as far as Knuckles go. So a lot of people kind of steer away from that. But if it's something you want to try out, by all means, you know, at least tear up the, uh, the TT one. So then in case you want to get into them later, you always can. But anyways, so tonight I'm going to be using long blades. I'm going to grab, I don't know, two or three of them. If I don't use them, I can always sell them back to the TT machine and get all my money back. And let's see here. So I'm over at Twin Peaks right now. That's usually where I log off at. I like to do all my crafting here at Twin Peaks. It's a very popular place. A lot of trading happens here, if you did not know that. Uh, especially if a new player, if you are a new player watching this, uh, Twin Peaks is definitely a place you want to get for a teleporter if you don't know where it's at. It's kind of on the upper left hand part of the map uh, with Port Atlantis being right here and it's just to the right a little bit. Uh, I don't recommend walking there uh, or even driving, you know, maybe get somebody to fly you there. It's, it's quite a ways. To go but anyways tonight we're gonna be hunting berry cled and there's a nice spot right off of this east hangar b um that's where we're gonna come on now um uh, yeah so off of the east hangar b here and these ones are a little bit bigger than the punies i think they're smalls And they're just, they're a nice step up from the puny. So like once you've completed your puny challenges and you're looking for just that next size up mob, uh, these berry clad are just a little bit bigger. I think, like I said, I think they're the smalls. We'll see here once we get here. Uh, that's kind of your next step. Uh, what is also nice about these berry clad, let's see here. And I believe they're over, over this way. Let's jump in our ship here and fly over there. There we go. It's a little laggy. Yeah, I think they're over here. <clears throat> but anyways, uh, because they're small, you will get... Man, I'm really lagging here. Let's give it a second. Um, because they're small, the points will count towards the iron missions. Um, there's only a couple more months left on the iron missions, and then uh, once those are gone, those are gone. So I... I suggest if you can finish up as many of those as you can and get that free free skill before we switch over completely to the codex at least for planet calypso here uh, do, do, do. all right yep and here they are so they're they're level three actually let's pull up the old mission system mission log and track that because so I know I have that challenge still yeah so I'm on level three um, looks like
looks like we can get anatomy, power fist, diagnosis. Uh, I still need a lot of points, unfortunately. I'll probably eventually have to go find some bigger ones, but we'll track it anyways, despite being such a far way off. And let's throw one of these swords on. Oh, that's cool, with it being night, uh, the viral blades light up around you. I really like what they did with the new graphics here. Looks very nice. So being a melee weapon, you do need to run up and be next to your target, obviously. Um, <clears throat> so one of the reasons you might want to consider uh, scaling up in a variety of different skills is... Oh, decent. Uh, instead of just putting all your skills into, say, one skill such as, like, uh, I normally hunt with laser rifles. So why would, why would I want to use long blades? Why don't I just grab a laser rifle and just start blasting these guys? Um, different skills will essentially skill up other skills. So to, uh, what that means is you can get other skills by using certain items. And I guess the best way to explain that is by using a physical weapon instead of a gun something that requires you to use uh, the auto key button. <laughs> um, but something that forces you to use muscles. Uh, we're actually building strength by using the long blade or any, any melee weapon. You can build strength and will up your ca carrying capacity, uh, which is nice, especially if you're a miner, you always get the obnoxious overload and then your character walks really slow. So if we skill up a little bit in the long blades or short blades or whatever melee weapon, we will gain more strength and then we can then carry more materials later in the game. That is just one reason. Uh, another reason is melee weapons tend to raise your health points a little bit quicker than you would with, um, say, guns or distance weapons. That is the second reason I recommend doing melees weapons, scaling those up. And then the third reason, uh, it gives you another skill that's extremely valuable, and that is dodge, any, well, not dodge, I'm sorry, evade. Because you're right next to your targets, you're getting hit more, which and then increases your evade. Uh, evade is extremely valuable because that means you'll be hitting, getting hit less, which means less decay on your armor, and ultimately will save you some money. Now, some people are probably gonna chime in and kind of argue with me that with that a little bit because with the new loot 2.0, the armor decay is factored into the loot you get from the mob. So I guess that kind of comes out in the wash. Either way, it's still nice to not have to pay those nasty repair bills on your armor. Um, even if it maybe means you get a little less loot, but either way, it's still a good skill to have. What are we getting for loot here? Actually. Decays fairly quickly. So we're getting a little bit of shrapnel, which is nice because we're going to use that for our guns later. Uh, we're getting animal muscle oil, which is ultimately what I'm out here for. And animal hide, which we don't really care about. Again, I like to really try to uh, find my own crafting materials and use those to craft opposed to buying them. Um, I save myself a little bit of markup, not having to buy them from other people, whether it be on the market or person to person. Uh, and it just... I find it gives me, I don't want to say more purpose, but a little more direction with what I'm doing in the game. But yeah, so this was kind of uh, more or less not my plan for the night. I was looking at maybe doing some streaming. I was going to play some more Borderlands and stream the takedown. Um, but I'm kind of actually waiting for my wife to get home, who I think did some last minute grocery shopping. And that is why she's not here yet. But And then once we eat dinner and stuff, I'll probably do some streaming. But I had some time to kill, so I 
figured, hey, let's uh, let's play some Entropia Universe because I feel like I don't play enough of that. And this is just kind of a nice, quick little introductory to melee weapons. Uh, this is a great spot for newer players looking for a different hunting experience other than punies over at Camp Icarus. This is kind of like your next step up. Actually getting some halfway decent loot here. And we ranked up in the Berry Clad Challenge. So we are now at rank 3. Let us take a look at our codex and let's see what we got for rewards here. Um, I've been doing... What have I been doing? I could do Long Blades or Heavy Melee. I've been doing... I think it was Combat Reflex. I think that pays into your evade if I remember right uh, if I'm wrong you know let me know in the comments please correct me on that but I'm I'm pretty sure it's com uh, combat reflexes is one of those that one of those skills that feed other skills that feeds into your evade and dodge I believe it's either that or maybe it's agility but either way it's good to have skills Alright, sorry about that. I guess the wife is home now. Alright, so let's see here. Man, those effects look really cool. We should do more of this. I guess, uh... Otherwise, I could go down to, uh, what the heck is it? Is it Club Royal? Also have some bigger berry clubs, but I don't know if I can hunt them efficiently yet. I'm not really sure. We'll do this for a while, and actually, maybe we'll go check that out. I got, I got some ammo on me. Uh, one thing to note about this area, if you're going to come hunt over here... Uh, you can see there's a building down here. There's actually kind of like a... It's a reoccurring mission, basically, and it looks like somebody already completed it. But what will happen is you will... When you come into this area, you'll get some message about, like, uh, the fort is under attack by the berry cleds, and you got to kill X amount of berry cled, as well as pick up... It's like 7 or 10... Uh, of these generator parts and they'll be laying on the ground over by the grass over there and to complete the mission i don't remember if you get anything special out of it uh the only thing that's really annoying about it is if you don't complete that mission it turns into a no fly zone and as you can see right now we can fly which makes me believe that somebody has just recently completed that mission but it resets after uh, it's probably like a half hour, 45 minutes or something like that. And you can do it all over again. And it, it is a group event. The, uh, the berry cled down there are shared at least while the little mini event is going. So that's just something to keep in mind if you go over there and it's a no, sometimes it's a no fly zone or sometimes it is a fly zone. Um, that, that is the reason behind it. So. Uh, what you could do is you could just quick complete the little mission and then you could fly back to the teleporter because there's no teleporter over here, unfortunately. And usually, usually the berry clad disappear too right away. Once that mission is completed, they'll disappear from the grassy area. At least they used to anyways. Maybe they changed that. I wonder if I could hunt these guys without armor. The only problem is, is they're so aggressive sometimes is you'll get like three or four of them on you like this and they just shred your health when you're not watching. Ooh, ped 47, that's pretty decent. 
and just uh, muscle oil. So we actually got um, almost two ped there. I don't think I've ever gotten these youngs to global, but I have gotten some pretty significantly high loots off of them, at least for their size. I've gotten some 10 and 15 ped loots. But never, I don't think I've ever had a global off of off of one of these youngs, and I've, I've hunted quite a few of them out here. I think they're only worth, oh, they're worth two points. So, yeah, 6,000 of them to finish this challenge. That's going to take forever. Especially if we do it with a melee weapon. Or I could pull them with a rifle. But I think the only thing I got on me is the LR-15. Which is kind of overkill. Which I guess doesn't really matter anymore because, again, now with Loot 2.0, which I guess switched over quite a while ago, but um, maybe some of the new players don't realize this, overkilling, I believe, gets put into your loot, or is factored into your loot. So if you do more damage than they have health left, that's kind of factored into it and kind of eliminates that. Because it, it used to be um, you, you had to use a very specific gun uh, for, or a very specific range of gun or weapon, because you didn't want to overkill because uh, you'd lose money that way, but now that they've updated the loot system they've kind of eliminated that but uh, what some of the higher level people would do, they'd have sometimes three or four different weapons that they would use to, to hunt a certain mob they'd have uh, usually like a targeting rifle um, that they would use to target a mob and kind of pull it away from the herd. Usually they're hunting much bigger things. And then they had like a mid-range gun that did a lot of heavy damage, uh, but just didn't have quite as much range to pull. And then you'd have what you would call a finisher weapon that would take off the last couple health points so that you wouldn't overkill. Uh, it was really quite the process for hunting. Now you can pretty much just use... Uh, you might still want to a targeting rifle to pull stuff away from the herd especially if you're a melee hunter um, but yeah otherwise you can pretty much just get away with a high damage weapon um, and you don't have to switch back and forth which is kind of nice because sometimes I'm just lazy and don't feel like doing that How much we got left on the sword? Uh, a little over halfway. We'll we'll use the sword up, and then we're gonna go down to Club Royal and see if we can take some of those bigger ones there. I don't think I can, but we'll give it a try. At least then you'll kind of see where it's at, and this will kind of give you an idea of what you'll need to hunt something that size. I'm using adjusted pixie armor and the AR Matrix LR15. Just to kind of give you an idea of what you will need or the general area. Um, maybe if we jumped up to the LR20, we would be okay. Or if I had better armor. Actually, I think I got an amp tucked away in my storage. Maybe I'll grab that and throw that on. Uh, it's not very big. I think it'll only add like six or six to ten damage or something like that. But maybe it'll be the little bit extra that I need to hunt those things. kind of a pretty area 
of the game with the sunrise here coming across the dunes. I like that you can see like the, the dust blowing across the sand. It's really neat. You know, as despite the game being as old as it is, they've done a really good job of masking its age to a certain degree. I mean, <clears throat> yeah, it still pales in comparison to a lot of games uh, nowadays, especially now that we're starting to see stuff being played in 4 and even 8K. Um, but for a game that came out in 2003, and I know it's been overhauled and updated quite a bit, but man, it you know it looks it looks good. Getting some nice bravado skill points here, over a whole point there. Whole point on long blade. Nice skills. I could get really crazy and and uh, pop a skill pill to really boost this, but I don't think I'm gonna be doing this for a whole hour. I'm probably I'm probably already like 15 minutes into this video. Another decent drop. What we got left here. Four ped. Not a lot of berry clad. You know what? Let's just kill this guy. And for time's sake, cuz I don't I don't like having super long videos. Uh, kind of kills my average watch time a little bit. I like to keep them shorter, and that way kind of encourages people to watch the whole thing because um, not everybody has the patience to sit down and watch a half-hour video. And sometimes with Entropia, 30 minutes is just a little too much in my opinion. I think it's it's nice to just like 10, 15 minutes just to, for people to drop in, see what you're doing, and then they can kind of carry on their way. Unless you're hardcore, then, you know, if you're the hardcore guy, you sit and you watch the three, four hour recorded live streams. But uh, not not too many people do that. I used to do that all the time, <clears throat> especially when I first started playing. Man, I'd sit and watch anything Entropia related. Didn't matter how long or short it was. Whoops. I was watching it. Okay, so we're going to go to... Uh... Royal, Royal Club. I believe it's Royal Club. Uh, let's see here. Yeah, Royal Club down here. Just to kind of give you an idea, it's the bottom left-hand side of the map, between land areas twenty-three and twenty-four. You will find the teleporter for Club. Royal. There's actually a good place. A lot of people do a lot of sweating here, the big sweating groups, because uh, there's a decent spawn of the, uh, what the heck you call them? The big aardvark looking goofy things. The Ar Armetheath? Ar Armethia? Whatever they're called. Another Entropian <coughs> Ar Ar Armerath. Maybe that's what it is. I don't know. I can't pronounce it. I'm super dyslexic. That's my story, and I'm sticking to it. But there's also a decent spawn of berry clad here. So we're going to just hit the repair terminal real quick. Because <clears throat> if your armor is fully repaired... Wow, they did quite a bit of damage. Um... It's just going to protect you all that much better. And I do have an amp. Let's take a quick look at it before we go out and go hunting. It is a E amp 11. It is unlimited. Uh, I just kind of bought this thing on the spur of a moment. I wanted to try it out. 
see if it made a difference. I was also trying to hunt stuff that was probably just a little bit too big for me to hunt. Um, but yeah, birds an extra 100 ammo for 6 points of damage burn and 1 point of penetration. So I think a total of 7. It's just not going to give me massive extra damage. But it should give me a little something extra. Yeah, these are level 12s. And they're pretty freaking aggressive. So if I get swamped by more than one or two, I'm going to be hosed. Hopefully we are far enough away from the turret where it won't kill him on, on me. It's actually going fairly decent. Not terrible. Let's just heal up real quick, just in case. Still rocking that regen 3 chip I bought back during Merry Mayhem. As you can see, these ones are obviously quite a bit bigger than those smalls that I was hunting earlier. This is actually going a lot better than I thought it was going to go. And we're getting quite a bit more animal muscle oil, which is what we need for our next crafting run. We're going to do some more simple conductors. Uh, maybe later this week, I don't know. Let's see how much time I got. What is today? Today is Wednesday. Eh, maybe this weekend I'll do it if I got time. I think uh, my evade is quite a bit higher since the last time I tried hunting these things. Also probably helps that I have this gun maxed out. Not terrible. I think it actually lowers. It's not a very good amp. I don't recommend it. I bought it because it was cheap. And like I said, I wanted it to experiment a little bit. And, uh. It's actually been sitting in my storage for quite a while. Um, there's there's much better amps out there. And maybe in the future I'll do a video on amps. Uh, I just don't have the knowledge at the current time to really give you uh, good information on it. I got to do some research and play around with them a little bit myself. Really give you a better understanding of them all right let's uh let's pop a couple more and i think we're gonna call that a video like i said i didn't want i didn't want this to drag on too long i just wanted to uh collect some materials and see what's up with you guys see how you're doing glad you've been watching the videos it looks like Everything's been going really well. Um, yeah, let me, you know, let, I, I really like it when you guys hit me up in the comments. I like talking with you guys. Uh, let me know what's going on with you guys. What are you doing in Entropy Universe? You know, what are you, are you hunting? Are you mining? Are you a crafter? Are you doing all three? Uh, what have you been hunting? You know, what are, what have you been doing lately in Entropy Universe? You know, let me know what's going on. And uh, if anybody's ever interested in um, maybe doing like a small group hunt or, or whatever. I'm always down for that. Uh, I don't always have a ton of time or money to do anything crazy, but if you want to jump on for an hour and go hunt something, uh, I'm definitely up for that. Be sure to hit me up in game or in the comments below. Maybe drop your, uh, gamer tag so that I can either message you or you can message me. And we're going to heal up. I think we're going to call it a video. So, you know what? Thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate all the support, all the comments. You are a fantastic audience. I love the Entropy Universe community. This is just, it's so much fun. I really love doing this. And I'm going to keep 
making videos uh, for as long as I possibly can until either I get bored of it, which I don't see that happening, um, or if I run out of money or something, or I don't know why I would stop doing it. It's probably not going to happen. But anyways, thank you so much for watching. I really do appreciate it very, very much. And if you haven't already, I'd really appreciate it if you hit the like button. It helps the videos out and it helps more people uh, see them. Uh, it puts it in front of more faces. And of course, please hit that subscribe button so you don't miss out on my future Entropia Universe content as well as my live streams and other video game content. And until next time, guys, you have a good one.